here we go. Uh, Flight to the Ford. We have our Burden deck. We have our Fell Rider. We have our Last Bridge. Gain off Delay. So drip of that. Um, we are doing sleazy mode as usual because, you know, I'm a little sleazy. Okay. Drop to five because of the delay. Five. All right, Rosie. Build a pony. Sneak attack. Steward of Gondor and Shirefolk. Okay. I like the idea of keeping sneak attack in case we get a good attacker out there soon. So maybe like that's worth it. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's do this. That's fine. So everyone gets one. And we draw a card. Come on, Gandalf. Ah, that'll be sweet. Actually, that works out well because we can do the runes. Draw two cards. Warden of Healing. Interesting. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Warden of Healing. We don't need it. So Shire Folk reduce her threat by four. Might as well, right? I mean, I know we're getting chased right now. But, you know, more, more we'll do so. Actually, you know, we'll do it again. Might as well, right? Might as well. Just down to 12. So hopefully don't have to have to worry about that. Uh, let's do Steward of Gondor. We'll pay the two. Put that on to uh, Pippin. Exhaust it. Pippin's up to four. Isn't really necessary right now, but it might as well. And we got Bill the Pony. So that's fine. Cool. Good, good start. Good start. So at the end of the round, okay, we have to remember that. Enemies declares an attacker. Let's remember that. When Fell Rider is in the staging area, it gains force at the beginning of the encounter phase. So we'll deal with that in a second. And you have to reveal the top to travel there. Okay. We have a lot going on. So we have to get the Lost Bridge out of there, right? Yeah, we have to get that into the, um, the, the, the staging area. So... I think what we're going to do... Is I actually kind of want to optionally engage him. Because it's just nine life I got to go through. He's going to be four, five, six... That's only going to do six. That's not going to be enough right yet. All right, let's let's do this slowly and smart, I guess. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, four, five, six. So that's six against three. All right, let's put let's do one more with the pony, right? Actually, no, we'll just do a Pippin too. I think we'll be fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight against three. Ho oh, ho, buddy. Okay, not what I expected. So three against eight is um five? Three against eight. Um yeah, five. So that goes up to five. Three against eight, yeah, it's five. Okay, cool. Uh, did you draw a gaffer? No, I did not, unfortunately. I need the gaffer. Do hobbits optionally engage more than a burger? <laughs> hey, Summers, good to see you. Uh, they optionally engage a lot. Well, they do in my deck, at least. So, we're in the travel phase. The first player must reveal the top card of the burden deck and resolve that card if they were to travel here. Let's let's just do it. Let's just we want to travel. So we're doing this. Resolve this top card. Let's see. Surge. Okay, we'd surge from here. When we reveal the first player must either exhaust the one ring or reveal an additional encounter card. Okay, I'll exhaust the one ring. That's fine. Then, when revealed, treat the text box of each character and play blank, except for traits, until the end of the round. Ooh. Oh, there is a Nazgul, so it gains Surge. Okay, this is terrible. Okay. So that's that. Everyone's text box is blank, so nothing happens. And this we at least go into there for. Add more to the active location. Okay, that's fine. Any amount of progress is placed on the Etmores. Reduce Ring Bearer's life by one. We don't have to worry about that yet. You draw... Okay. Um, so, a staging area, it gains force at the beginning of the encounter phase. So this is the beginning of the encounter phase. The first player must either reduce the Ring Bearer's life by one or engage. I'm going to reduce my life by one. Right? He's got 15. We might as well. 
So after your enemy is declared as an attacker, that's not happening. So we don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about that. Okay. End of the round. Now, end of the round, right? Don't we take damage or something? At the end of the round, the ring bearer's life is reduced by one. So it's down by two. Let's go to 13. I have to use one of Frodo's money to keep Gildor in my hand. Okay. Whew. I felt like a lot. Hopefully I got everything. Draw a card. <laughs> the dagger. So Mary be swinging. Pay the dagger. Was it one? Yeah, one. Throw the dagger on the hem. Okay. So there's four out there and we got to get through that. Um, I almost feel like I want to get Like, I want to optionally engage him, almost. Yeah, I feel like I want to. But I might use the word surge in the mature conversation. <laughs> Did you... <laughs> cringe just like, ah... Why is life going so poorly right now with this search? <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Um, okay, let's link this through. So let's just have Pippin have more money. So why not? Let's quest for four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll quest for seven. I think that's fine. Um, against four, the worst forever tainted. Peril, one revealed. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a Nazgul enemy. Adds a staging area. Ugh. It's not really what I wanted. All right, we're going to put a ring wraith in there. So seven against four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's fine. Now, what we can do is optionally engage this ring wraith. Yeah, I think that's what we want to do. That allows us to one with Sam, ready Sam, and we can draw another card, which is a dagger. So he's going to attack. We're going to block this with Gildor. Swinging for five. Uh, there's no shadow on it. So it blocks three of it. So it's two damage on the Gildor, which is rough, but that's okay. Then we can do straight up attack. So we got to do nine damage. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got the ring ring. That's good. Okay. It's in the staging area. We're going to reduce our life by one. Sorry, I forgot to do that first before I forget. Um... Because he's in the staging area. Um, now the end of the round. Frodo gets no damage. He's up to 14. Okay. Cool. Maybe what would be really cool to draw right now would be a Gandalf. We lower this by one to keep her in a play. We raise it by one. And we raise everyone else. Draw a card. Uh, fast hitch. That's decent enough. So the dagger is going to go on to Sam. So Sam be swinging. Fast hitch. We can put on to Mary. Yeah, you got to try hobbits. Hobbits are a lot of fun. They, they, a lot of their cards work off each other, which is great. Uh... Oh, shoot. I forgot. After an enemy is declared as an attacker, shuffle the top card of the burn deck into the encounter deck to cancel that attack. Oh, no. I don't want to cancel it. That's fine. But that's good because I could do it for that. So, okay. Let's quest. And we're going to cancel one of his attacks. So, I need to do nine damage. Is what, what we're going to do. So, doesn't come cheap. High maintenance. <laughs> All right. So, let's um, let's quest. So let's do three, 
or I'm sorry, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll do ten. We'll keep Bill the Pony just in case for reasons. All right, so we're gonna do ten against four. Peril. You must either shuffle the top card of the burn deck into the encounter deck and reveal an additional encounter card or raise each player's threat by three and immediately end their quest phase. Not... Ooh. So we don't resolve the quest. So we don't have to worry about getting threat. So, you know, we'll just raise it by three. So it brings up to 17. That's fine. And we resolve it so nothing else happens. So, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to optionally engage... The Fell Rider. Uh, in the beginning of the encounter stage, I'm sorry, we have to either engage it or do our damage by one. We're going to do one damage. The reason being is because I want to optionally engage him so I can ready up Sam and I can draw a card. Okay. Now he's going to attack. We can shuffle the top card of the burden deck into the encounter deck to cancel that attack. It doesn't feel great to do. But I don't hate the idea either. Because we could pretty much knock him out. Actually, we can knock him out. Or I can block with Build a Pony. But there might be a card in there that puts him back in the staging area, which I don't want to do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. After the enemies declares an attacker, shuffle the top card of the burn deck into the encounter deck to cancel that attack. So we're canceling this attack. Oops. But yes, hobbits do have insane cards. Like they're really, really nice. I know I don't want them, but I'm hoping I can rush through things. This card, non-objective attachment you control, would have been the card. Eh, that would have been the worst. All right, so we can fast hitch. I'm hoping that I can just get through this really fast. So, Mary be swinging for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough. That gets rid of him. We're good to go. Okay. We spend one to keep her in there. We get one back. We raise this by one. Everyone readies up. End of the round. We have six damage on the Frodo. Okay. So we did the one thing already with him. We had to put money on him. There is more than one game in the campaign. That's true. True. I'll probably end up with these burdens later on. But Draw a card. All right. Farmer Maggot. Whatever. Our choice has been made. This, this 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 will totally work out. It's totally gonna be cool and good. We could play Rosie. <laughs> and we could play uh this guy. Butterbur. And we could put the farmer in too. Might as well, right? Just kinda go all out. Alright, cool. So now let's quest hard. To get through a bunch of this stuff. And hopefully this works out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plus four is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16. 16 against two. Oh no, Surge. Attached to a Nazgul enemy if able to. We're not. Each engaged enemy makes an enemy attack. If no attack was made, may it gains Surge. Okay. So 4 against 16 is 12. Minus 4 is 8. This goes in the victory display. So this gets 8 now. Plus the 5 is 13. If I can math correctly. And then we can put... that into play very much appreciate i know i did too when it starts sprawling out it's so nice it's so incredibly nice all right so that is good to go this raises one one life or one damage goes on to frodo because of the end of the round thing uh i think we just raised this one run if i didn't just yell at me now and we ready up Now, we spend one, get one back for Gildor. Oh, one, one, 
one. Draw a card. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't think we've been exhausting that to get so much more on Pippin, but might as well. Play this to reduce our threat by four. So that brings down to 15. Cool. Now let's quest a bit. So what we can do is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Let's do 12. Should be good. So two, three, four. Uh, that's eight, seven, six, five. Which is enough on this. So next, next one. All right. Next card says one revealed. Add four of Brunnerlum and the Witch King to the staging area. While at least one Nazgul enemy is in play, race to Rivendell gets plus 15 quest points. At the end of the round, reduce the... Uh, ring bearer's life by one okay so ford now says after ford of brennan leaves play as an explore location all engaged enemies are discarded okay travel the first player must reveal the top card in the encounter deck to travel here so we need to either quest for 25 or not um so here's the thing i think i think we can actually kill the witch king No, we can't. No, we can't. We got to do 14 damage. So let's travel. We're going to travel to the Etmores because while the Etmores is the active location, do not deal Nazgul enemies a shadow card during combat phase. Of course, after any amount of progress is placed on the Etmores, reduce the ring bearer's life by one. That's fine. Okay, so that's that. I think we're good. We are going to optionally engage the Witch King, but he does not get a shadow card because of this card. So we get Sam, we draw a card. Okay, cool. We're going to fast hitch Mary. He's going to attack with six. We're going to block it with Rosie, which just like hurts to do, but Rosie gets taken out by a lot. That's fine. So then damage wise, we're going to do Mary with four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh my gosh, I miscounted by one. So 13 minus five is. No, 13 minus five is. Uh, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Yeah, 8 damage. Oh, we were so close. This is how it all works in the books, right? Just eight damage there. I forgot that he doesn't have any, but that's okay. He was declared as an attacker. Oh, that's to cancel that. We didn't cancel that, so that's fine. That's fine. Okay, I think we're all good. One more damage goes on to him. Um, we lose one ring. We're going to gain one ring. Let me ready up, and we got to get our threat up by one. Just remember to do that so we're gonna go up to 16. okay he already has one ring he has one he has one he has one draw a card how fast okay good how fast can be a blocker we'll play how fast we'll exhaust this to put two more onto there because why not all right Race to Rivendell. At least one as. All right. Okay. I think I think we're still doing all right. So that's four on there. So let's quest for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll just do nine because I gotta make sure I get rid of uh, the Witch King. So nine against four. We're revealed. Reduce the ring bearer's life by one. Then reduce the ring bearer's everything to zero. So his ring life goes down by one. Everything else goes down by zero. So he quests for two less. So that's only seven. So four against our seven is three. Actually gets rid of this. 
Um, we have to reduce your life because any amount of light, uh, any amount of progress placed in here reduces the ring bearer's life by one. So that's that. So we got rid of that. So we're going to travel to the other place. We're going to leave the Ford still. And he's going to attack us. We are going to block this with Halfa. Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Oh, that stinks. Um, we will get rid of our dagger. So how fast doesn't make it? You get hit by sticks. But Mary, who's going to fast hitch, is swinging for six by himself. Does just enough damage to knock out the Witch King. Okay, Witch King, gone. Now we just need the quest. So while there's at least one Nazgul enemy in play, this gets plus 15 quest points, so we don't have to worry about that right now. And this goes up to 17. We get one damage onto Frodo. Ready everyone up. Frodo loses one money, gains one money. Because of Gildor. Everyone else just gains money. Holy cow, I'm not getting the cards I want. Okay. So I guess we'll just quest hard, right? See what happens. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen against two. Oh my gosh, put a Nazgul enemy in the play. I don't want Fell Rider. Ring, I want the Ring Wraith. Alright, 16 against 5 is 11. So 11 minus 3 is 8. Just 8 onto this. Just 5. Okay. I don't want to option engage him yet. I don't want to worry about that. All right. So one damage goes on the Frodo. This goes up to 18. Everyone refreshes. Frodo once again loses one, gains one. Usual pattern. Everyone else just gains one. Draw a card. Hey, Hemsworth. At least we got something. Put Hemsworth in. Okay. So... Let's think about this. We want a cheap blocker against the Ring Wraith. And then we can just attack like normal. We only need to do nine damage, which is going to be a decent amount there. So, all right, let's quest for one, uh, four, five, six, seven, Plus a four, plus a two, plus a two. Okay, let's just do the math now. So two, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Fifteen points against five. Uh the old road. Place the top card of the burn deck on top of the encounter deck to place four progress on the old road. I don't know what I can do. So Five, six, seven, eight minus fifteen is seven. So seven plus eight is fifteen. Okay, so we don't win, right? Because there's Nazgul enemy on place. So we can travel to the old road, and we can optionally engage the Ring Wraith. In doing so, Sam readies up. We draw a card. Gosh, runes. That's fine. Now let's block with Hemsworth on this. Five, return the attacking enemy to the staging area. That stinks. I hate that card. That's that. So we could have won, but we didn't. All right, Summer, take care. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. I really do. Everyone ready's up. Uh, Frodo's got to take a damage. Hopefully, I've been keeping up with that. He's at two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. He's at 13 right now. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I got hustle. Um... Everyone else gets a dollar. And draws a card. Drinking song. Okay. That actually might be good. 
So now, because we could do the, the runes to draw two cards and discard one. We're going to discard one of our sneak attacks. I'm actually going to do drinking song. One, two, three, four. Shuffle these four back in so we get to draw up to five. I really need Gandalf or something, like just like quest hard. One, two, three, four, five. Alright, there's Gaffer, there's Steward, there's the other dagger. Okay. Gaffer we're putting into play. That's that's for sure. This guy we're putting into play too. Because we're so rich right now. Steward of Gondor, we can't really play. Warden of Healing, we don't have, right? Put him into play. And the dagger we can put into play. Put that on Sam. All right, cool. So let us quest one, two, three. Actually, we need to block with somebody. We'll block with one. Oh, shoot. We already have one of these guys out there. Sorry. Um, got confused there. Three, four, da, 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 him, 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 him. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen against five? Oh my gosh, another fell rider. You gotta be kidding me. So, four, five, six, seven. Against 14 is seven. Do that. That's three more. 18 onto this. Okay. 18 onto that. That's something. So, we're going to travel. The first player must travel here. The first player must reveal the top card in the encounter deck to travel here. You must either shuffle the top card of the burn deck into there or do the. Or raise each player's threat and immediately end the quest phase. Well, we're not on the quest phase, right? We're on the travel phase. So I guess we'll raise it by three. Brings it up to 21. Right? That's what we were just on? Yeah. So the quest phase was already done. Now he... We would engage the Fell Rider. So we're at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now we're going to have to get engaged by the Fell Rider. Because we're gonna lose one life there. So we will engage him. Now I assume they're not optionally engaging him, right? Because of the beginning of the phase, so that's fine. He's gonna just attack. We will block it with Bailermer. Shuffle this card into the encounter deck. Okay, that's fine. He does enough damage to take that guy. Okay. Oh, this is rough. 22. One damage. Everyone readies. This is my last round. Because Frodo has taken so much damage. This is terrible. One Gandalf. Okay. Cool. So, with that being said, we have Gandalf. Um... You think it's possible to just quest so hard you win? Is that is that a possibility? So let's play Gandalf, right? So it's two, four, five. Exhaust steward, we get two there. So I'm thinking if I draw three cards, is there a possibility we get somebody else that quests hard? There's Rosie. So let's draw three cards. One, two, Three. How fast do we have him? We don't, so we can play him. We we'll play how fast for three. Let's just put one point back on the cell and put it back on Sam. All right. If we do twelve questing points onto this, we we can win. It's the only way to really win right now. So we have to kind of go for it. Go big. 
Oh, wait, we can do Drinking Song. Let's do that, actually. So we'll shuffle these three cards, do this one, because I'm hoping for, like, Rosie, right? So that'll be four cards that will uh, come out, or that we get to draw. Three, four. Um, okay, we did get Amborn, which I guess is helpful, but we can't use them, so that's things. Butterball, we can't use. Okay. All right, let's quest hard, hope for the best. Everyone is questing. And again, the reason being is because he would have to engage us, but the one life thing is going to kill... What's his face anyway? So. Alright, so... We have... 2, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24 we're questing with right now. 24 against a 3 and a 6. So I don't know, we'll see. Surge, cast your Nazgul enemy in play of Able. Yeah, that's fine. We can do more damage. Oh my gosh, another Fell Rider. Alright, so 5 is 19. 19 minus 6 is 13. That's it, right? 21, 31. I think we did it. Let me just make sure. Whatever the Witch King, while there's at least one Nazgul enemy in play, place Rivendell gets 15 quest points. At the end of the round, reduce the Ring Bearer's life by one. That's fine. When we did the Ford, after it leaves play as an explored location, all engaged enemies are discarded. So he was discarded. Oh! <laughs> we did it. We did it. GG. I think we did it. If not, if I screwed up, Frodo would have died and we would have lost. But I, I think we got it. In there. 